Hey everyone, it's Dash here, and welcome to the Twilight Zone Overview. Whoop, here we are, another horror game. To be fair, it was quite a while we had one. It wasn't Resident Evil actually the last one, <laughs> and it still traumatized with me to this day. So, let's be quickly done with this. <laughs> So the Twilight Zone seems to be an adventure shooter horror title where throughout the three stories available we face our fears in a disturbing series of events. It seems a little bit weird it has only three environments kinda to play in, like I don't see this having a very long gameplay. I personally know nothing about the Twilight Zone branding, the original seems to be something to do with the 60s so that's a pretty long time ago and I already saw people say it should have nothing to do with it and as a side note from me it's being developed by the creators of Tarzan VR which we all know is a hot mess and I definitely start to see the trend of borrowing a brand and trying to make a game of it which so far it has not succeeded so we'll see about this one. There's not much to be said about the mechanics and stuff like that. A basic stealth shooter with jump scares and monsters just chasing you around. At least in this horror iteration we have something to defend ourselves. That's always good for me because I don't like feeling defenseless and let's see how long I'll last before quitting the game. Alright, so I just finished recording, as you can see by my forehead. Long story short, I don't know why, maybe it's just due to the mechanics or the features of the game. There's no audio whatsoever to be seen from the gameplay and I feel like I could pass it on the channel before, but nowadays essentially quality-wise, not really. So instead I'm just gonna give you a short summary of what's going on. Essentially the concept is pretty interesting in Twilight Zone. It uses a lot of voice recordings of you, actually, and the gameplay revolves around psychological mind games and voice cues. Graphics -wise it's kinda crunchy even for the quest 2 standards. I didn't really reach far into the game but it wasn't really polished per se and it wasn't because of the time capsule that this brand is. It's pretty unique on its own though it just doesn't feel like high-end stuff that make up for like an amazing experience. It's cool but it definitely could have been better if you would put more work in it. It's definitely the case where after dying a couple times and repeating the same sequence you'll just remember what's going on and it's not gonna be any more scary. Maybe it's due to the fact that this type of horror can get repetitive but then again unpredictability is I feel like a selling point to most scary stuff. All in all pretty average not necessarily for me for obvious reasons. Sucks that the gameplay failed but sometimes it's just how it is so let me move on to the next video.